Getty Euro Tunnel have written to Theresa May to ask for discussions on a bridge between the UK and France. It is believed the French chief executive of Euro Tunnel, Jacques Gaunin, has written to Theresa May to express his eagerness to start negotiations. In a letter to the Prime Minister he said the idea of a second fixed link is something that we regularly consider in our long-term plans and we would be delighted to engage with your officials to explore the possibility further. The official approach to number 10 is likely to delight the Foreign Secretary after he floated the idea of a bridge spanning the English Channel between Dover and Calais during a visit to the UK by Emmanuel Macron. The bridge, which would likely have to partially be paid for with UK taxpayers' money, would provide another direct crossing from the EU to Britain. After Brexit, Mr Macron is thought to be delighted at the prospect and was reported to have said at the time, I agree, let's do it. Sources close to Mr Johnson say he believes the fact Britain and France are only connected by one railway line, despite being just 20 miles apart, is crazy. However, Mr Johnson faced backlash for his plan as experts lined up to ridicule his proposal. Thursday, February 8th. 2018 civil servants are anti-Brexit. The UK Chamber of Shipping was one of those against the bridge, lasting the potential effects of such a structure on international trade. It said in a tweet building a huge concrete structure in the middle of the world's busiest shipping lane might come with some challenges. Meanwhile, the Road Haulage Association's RA chief executive Richard Burnett said the Channel Tunnel and the ferry routes are working well within capacity, so it makes no sense to commit huge amounts of taxpayers' money in an uncertain economic climate to a costly bridge project that we don't need. Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornberry also mocked Mr. Johnson's idea. I ignored this earlier because I assumed it WASNT real. Apparently it is, I mean, who are these clowns claiming to run our country, she said on Twitter. The letter from Mr. Gannon added that his company would be fully engaged in plans for the expensive project, despite little need for another crossing. The letter continued, We are very interested in this possibility, albeit perhaps a little early as today we only use around 54% of total tunnel capacity. Getty French chief executive of Eurotunnel, Jacques Gannon, is eager for another crossing. Getty Boris Johnson first suggested building the bridge to Emmanuel Macron last month. HMR Johnson hopes that the construction of a bridge between the UK and France would act as a symbolic gesture to highlight that the Britain wants to work with France and the EU even after Brexit. At the time he tweeted, En marche great meetings with French counterparts today I'm especially pleased we are establishing a panel of experts to look at major projects together. Our economic success depends on good infrastructure and good connections. Should the Channel Tunnel be just a first step?